wrestling fans, this is Van Venom, and today we're going to talk about the tallest wrestlers in the business. Are you ready? Professional wrestling is all about larger than life figures who entertain us with their phenomenal athletics and showmanship. However, as we shall see, size does matter when it comes to the squared circle, with bigger usually being seen as better, at least in Vince McMahon's eyes. Here are some of the tallest wrestlers who have ever stepped into the squared circle. Some are household names, well, others will have you scratching your head. But before that, if you're new to our channel, please remember to subscribe and put the notifications on so you won't miss any of our unbelievable videos. Number 13, Big Cass. Standing seven feet tall and still recovering from an ACL knee injury, William Morrissey seems to have a bright future in the WWE as one of its biggest stars in recent years. Cass showed much promise during his tag team run with Enzo Amore, displaying charisma and wrestling ability that could turn him into a main eventer. If Cass stays healthy, he could have a long and prosperous career ahead of himself. Number 12, The Big Show. Standing seven feet, Paul White was originally hinted at being Andre the Giant's son until disgusted wrestling fans forced WCW to disavow the claim. Still, the big man proved an immediate sensation in WCW, winning its world championship and going on to a long run in the WWE as The Big Show. Like many of the individuals on our list, White's exact height is subject to debate, but he's at least seven feet tall. Number 11, Uncle Elmer. Longtime regional star Stanley Frazier used his height of 7 feet to make himself into a star in wrestling southern territories, including a long tenure in Memphis wrestling. Frazier achieved national fame late in his career as Uncle Elmer, one of Hillbilly Jim's seemingly endless number of wrestling relatives. Uncle Elmer had a short but memorable run, including an actual on-air wedding during an episode of Saturday Night's Main Event. Number 10, Kane. Standing seven feet, college hoops player Glenn Jacobs found success in the WWF as the Big Red Machine, breaking through into the main event as The Undertaker's demented and fire-scarred brother Kane. Jacobs debuted at 1997's Bad Blood In Your House pay-per-view, attacking his storyline brother during The Undertaker's Hell in a Cell bout against Shawn Michaels. Jacobs' run as Kane was an immediate success, obliterating the bad memories of past runs in the WWF as evil dentist Isaac Yankum and the foe Diesel. Kane has managed to stay fresh despite playing the character for over 20 years, a reflection on his commitment to the character and his connection with the fans. His size and look has also led to roles in film and television. Number 9. Andre the Giant after some research, it looks like Andre was standing around 7 feet. While you may disagree with us and point to the many claims that Andre stood 7 feet 4 or even 7 foot 5, it's hard to argue with the photographic evidence. Consider this. Andre was seen in a photograph standing next to 7 foot 1 basketball legend Wilt Chamberlain, with little size difference between the two. He also battled Ernie the Cat Lad, no tiny tussler himself standing around 6 foot 9, and Andre did not tower over Ernie. Andre was a big man and well-deserving of his nickname the 8th wonder of the world, but his height was embellished. Nonetheless, Andre was an extraordinary performer during his heyday, capable of wrestling moves practically unseen for men his size, and Andre remains the best-known giant in all of professional wrestling, regardless of the tale of the tape. Number 8. The Great Khali Standing 7 foot 1, the great Khali got a push in the WWE to match his size, even though his in-ring ability left much to be desired. Wrestling is about more than hip locks and arm drags though, and Khali served the role of monster heel during his early run in the WWE. Khali's size and enormous popularity in India led to some acting roles as well, and he opened a wrestling school in Punjab. Kali made a surprise appearance at 2017's WWE Battleground, helping then WWE Champion Jinder Mahal retain his championship against Randy Orton in a Punjabi prison match. Number 7. Raja Lion This 7 foot 2 giant from Pakistan may be more deserving of an honorable mention than inclusion in our list, as he's believed to have had the proverbial cup of coffee in the squared circle, with his best-known match being against Japan's Giant Baba, a respectable 6'11 himself. Number 6. Giant Silva Standing 7 feet 2, like many of the giants on our list, Paul Cesar de Silva played basketball before wrestling, in his case, competing at the 1988 Summer Olympics for Brazil. 
Silva was a member of the Attitude Era's bizarre faction, the Oddities, performing alongside Kurgan and Golga. In addition to his WWF run, Silva performed in New Japan Pro Wrestling and Hustle, as well as competing in MMA. Number 5. Ron Reese Although the name Ron Reese may not ring a bell, fans who watched, some say endured, Hulk Hogan's WCW battle with the Dungeon of Doom will likely recall Reese's brief turn as the 7'2 Yeti, a heavily bandaged giant who terrorized Hogan briefly at the height of the Dungeon's War to end Hulkamania. Reese also performed as Super Giant Ninja, Big Ron Stud, and Reese, but it's hard to think of anything as memorable and cringeworthy as his bear hug slash borderline dry humping attack on Hulk Hogan at 1995's Halloween Havoc pay per view. And yes, Reese was also a basketball player, shooting hoops for both his high school and college team. Number 4. Kurt Zihi not much is known about German wrestler Kurt Zihi other than he worked in the United Kingdom after World War II as the aptly named Gargantua. Footage exists of Zihi wrestling, with his height listed at an incredible 8 foot 4, but his actual height being just 7 foot 2. Number 3. Silo Sam John Harris worked in world-class championship wrestling, the American Wrestling Association, and the WWF, but never found lasting success in any of the promotions despite his tall stature. In true wrestling tradition, Harris's height was billed at a hyped 7 foot 7, but 7 foot 3 to 7 foot 5 is believed to be his true height. Number 2. Standing 7 foot 7, folklore fans may be familiar with American folk hero Paul Bunyan, the giant lumberjack who became the subject of many tall tales in the United States. Chances are wrestling fans haven't heard of wrestling's Paul Bunyan, a basketball player and occasional actor who wrestled briefly around the 1950s. Bunyan reportedly became a Christian evangelist in the 60s, preaching under the name Goliath for Christ. Number 1. Giant Gonzalez there are many big men in our list, but no one as big as George Gonzalez, who played basketball for the NBA's Atlanta Hawks until a knee injury ended his career. Hawks owner and WCW owner Ted Turner offered Gonzalez a gig at WCW, where the big man performed under the name El Gigante, aka The Giant. Standing 7 foot 7 and a quarter, Gonzalez then jumped to the WWF where he had a long feud with The Undertaker, distinguished by two things. Gonzalez's glaring deficiencies in the ring and a bizarre bodysuit that made him look like he walked off of the set of a Sasquatch adult video. Gonzalez stepped into wrestling history when he suffered a disqualification loss to The Undertaker at WrestleMania, the only time Taker did not win by pinfall or submission. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe, and don't forget to let us know your opinion in the comments below.